Welcome to VAK's lecture. In this video, we will discuss one more type of computer memory that is secondary memory. We have already discussed about the primary memory in our last video. Now we will discuss about secondary memory. Secondary memory is also called as auxiliary memory. And also these are non-volatile memories. Why? Because even though power is turned off, we can retrieve the data which is previously done. So it is used to store the data permanently. Because of this reason, it is also known as backup memory. Why? Because we can recall the data which is stored in memory. These are slower than the primary memory and the computer may run without the secondary memory also. Secondary storage devices are used to store the data permanently. We have different types of secondary storage devices. In this video, we will discuss about Winchester disk, magnetic drums and magnetic tapes. Winchester disk. It consists of two or more magnetic plates fixed to a circular block. These can store large volume of data. These are very fast in reading and writing the data. Magnetic drums. It is a metal cylinder that is coated with magnetic iron oxide material. The surface of the drum is divided into number of tracks and sectors. You just observe the red color part. Those circles are tracks and these tracks are used to store the data. It is also used to store large volume of data. This drum is permanently fixed inside the device. So we can't physically remove this. Magnetic tapes. Generally to store large files, we use magnetic tapes. It is made up of one plastic ribbon. One side of this ribbon is coated with magnetizable material. Only that side of the ribbon is used for storing the data. By using these, the data can be accessed in a sequential manner. That means one after the other only we have to get the data. By using these tapes, we can read the, read the data and write the data number of times. But only once we can store the data by using these tapes. If you want to store another data or the new data, the previous data will be erased. In such a way, we can reuse the magnetic tapes. For example, cassettes. I will give you one more example. In olden days, mostly people were using radios for listening music, news, sports commentary, etc. In the radios, we have a facility to use the cassette. For example, if we take the songs cassette, all the songs are stored on a magnetizable plastic ribbon. If we play the cassette, we have to listen the songs only in sequential manner. Means we have to go through one by one only. After listening the first song, if I want to play the seventh song, then it is not possible. Exactly, we have to move one by one only. Otherwise, there is a chance to forward it. That's it. So, sequential order is the working manner in cassettes which are made up of magnetic tapes. Advantages. These are inexpensive ones. We can store the data for a long time by using these magnetic tapes. It can be used to store large files also. We can reuse these magnetic tapes. If you want to reuse, the previous data can be erased and only the new data will be stored. Disadvantages. Sequential access only possible here. We can't retrieve the data in a random access manner. That means only one by one only we have to get the data. We have to take care of these from the environmental damages. That means if you observe cassettes, they will be placed inside of the one more box. If the cassettes are exposed to the environment, then they will be damaged. So, to protect from these damages, we have to take care of these. So, all these about Winchester disk, magnetic drums and magnetic tapes. If you understand the concept in my video, please like, share, subscribe my channel for more videos. Thank you.